What evil lurk in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. It's time that we uh, put a little bit of stain on uh, on the veneer. So what I did is I gave it one last sanding with some uh, 150 grain sandpaper. It's nice and smooth. I got any uh, any paint runoff that uh, happened to be on it uh, is now gone. I also masked around the edge so in case I um, put my stain anywhere I didn't really want it to go. Now what I chose for stain um, <coughs> I picked out a Varathane uh, interior wood stain and um, this particular kind is uh, American Walnut. Now I did a color test on it a while ago and it came back that uh, the American Walnut was pretty darn close to the existing color. So, uh, we're going to give it a go. Are you ready? Ready. All right. We've given this stain a good shake. Yeah, yourself. Now we got two rags. One is the application rag. One is a wipe off rag. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. papa. I'm gonna start. Yeah. Can I be you? Maybe Duncan. Okay. Hands off. Are you ready? Can you? Now stain's a little bit different than paint. Stain's a little more like water. And stain goes on like this. And then unlike paint, stain gets wiped off. Absolutely. I want to try that. Okay, nice long strokes. Same direction as the wood, okay? I want to try that. Okay, I will let you. You ready? Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Here you go. Okay, yeah. you put some, stand here, put a little bit of stain on. Right here. Wipe down to the, there you go. Hey, good staining. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, always with the grain, though. With the grain. Okay. Yep. Now that's soaked right up, so we don't even really need to do much wiping for this first application. Now with stain, Ooh. if you want it to go darker, what you do is you do more applications. So basically more layers. Yeah. Okay? Now you ready? We're going to do the mm. wiping coat. You ready? Ready. Mmm, that gonna... feel good. Oh, you like that, do you? Me now we're, now we're going to do the wiping. Okay, and we're going to wipe off the excess. And what's left is our first coat of stain. All right, what do you think of that, Duncan? Very nice. What we're going to do is we're going to let that dry a bit. We're going to put on a second application. Soon. All right, I peeled out the masking to have a look. We've got a good color match, I think. But the... Um, the American Walnut on the top is going to take, uh, I think, probably a couple of applications before it's going to be dark enough to match the original. But it's uh, it's definitely in the right color. Okay, and um, now we're ready for a second application on this side. We'll see how it goes. Got to get right into the crack here between the veneer and the rest of the cabinet. Alright, so basically I'm just going to kind of keep this up on both sides until I've got the veneer, the darkness that I'm looking for. Several applications of stain uh, I finally got it dark enough and that's basically where I want it. Now if you have a close look you'll see that the, uh, the application of the stain is less than perfect and while just about everything I do is less than perfect in this case it works really well because the rest of the radio being that it's about 60 years old is also going to show some blemishes and some unevenness in the finish and I think that that's going to go along just fine with the finished product. 
For the finish over the stain, I'm going to go for the uh, Verithane interior semi-gloss. Uh, in this case, because the, uh, the underlying finish does have some sheen to it, uh, I want to try to match that again as close as possible. So I'm going to go with a semi-gloss rather than a satin. Now the Verithane's good. There's other products out there. There's, there's Minwax and there's a whole bunch of other ones and I'm sure they all be just as good. You just pick your favorite. And uh, I decided to go with the Verithane. So for putting on the Verithane, uh, give, it a, give it a stir. Don't shake it or you'll fill it full of bubbles, I find. Now, this stuff's a little unusual to look at because the semi-gloss you'll find is uh, kind of looks kind of milky. Uh, in actual fact, though, once it dries, it's uh, perfectly clear. Uh, so I'm just going to get started. I know for sure I'm going to need at least two coats, and I am going to sand lightly with a fine grain sandpaper between coats. Get right out to the edges. And according to the instructions on the can, it says to um, apply liberally. So I don't want to get any drips, but I'm not going to hold back with how much I put on either. And that just about does it. So I'm going to let that uh, dry. According to the can, it takes about four hours to dry between coats. I'll probably uh, let it go till tomorrow and then I'll give it a sanding. And of course the other side is going to get the same treatment. I already applied one coat of urethane and uh, Connor's going to uh, help me uh, with a little bit of light sanding with uh, fine grain sandpaper on both sides and then we'll apply the second coat of urethane. So give it a, give it a sand there Connor. Sure. This is just a light sanding, long strokes, don't be digging into it. Yep. Okay, I think that'll do it and um, we'll do the same on the other side. And we're going to go with a second coat of the same urethane as before, the, um, the Verithane uh, semi-gloss. How's it looking? Good. Okay, give yourself one more dab. If you get any of this uh, urethane on the uh, satin paint, uh, definitely take it off before it dries, because, um, or else it'll show up with these... Uh, bright glossy spots all over your uh, flat paint. Not what you want. The urethane is dried and we've come out with a really nice finish on there. Our project is really starting to look up. So I finished the areas of the trim near the top and I finished the veneer near the top as well. But what's left to do really is going to be the rest of the trim. In order to get the rest of that trim done I'm going to follow the same steps that I followed on the trim up top and we'll have a look and see how we're moving along once that trim is done. The shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs>